Hello everyone, so today I've just got a little quick video for you to show how to make a photo wallet using the Cool Cats Crafts uh, wallet, uh, photo wallet die set. And when I say this is a big die set, I mean it. It is actually the full length of an A4 sheet of paper. It's probably one of the big longest dies I've seen. It literally goes edge to edge. So in the pack you get your main piece but you also get because it's a photo wallet set these pieces here have a mat and layer but you may notice it's a bit different it's a mat and layer with some curved slots so you don't have to do anything once you get this kit it literally does everything for us now you may think Oh, it's going to be quite tricky to mat and layer that. No problem. We've got that for there. Got that for the photos. And here, we don't even need magnets or anything to close them. It's got this little tuck spot here, which cuts out that curve. So the flap will tuck in. And you think, oh, that's going to be really hard to mat and layer and have that. Again, not a problem. You even get a die which will cut the mat and layer for that. So today, what I've done is I've printed off some papers from a, knit, a Knitwits collection called Photogenic, because I thought, oh, Photogenic and the Photo Wallet would work nicely together. So I've cut a couple of the photo mats and layers ready for us. And when you look at it, you'll see that it's got a little curve there. So what we can do is put in a six by four photograph into those slots. Now this is the photo mat from the six by four uh, curved photo slot. So it's a bit big and only just fits in there. So use your photos. I just haven't got any of the six by four photos here without people's faces in. So I just want to show you with that. There we go. So shall we get going? So the first thing you need to do is to take your main die, get some uh, low tack tape, and I put the low tack tape onto the back ready and place it down. This is only because the die is so long. And then what I'd do, because if you look, there's no room or hardly any room um, wasted on the paper. So I would ju then just take my cardstock and butt it up against the blade at this side, press down, find, hopefully it'll find that tape. And then when I flip it over, it's stuck onto that and it's not going to wiggle then. If you wanted to tape it down even more, go for it. And you'll send it through and what you'll get is this. So this is your photo wallet. So you've got the score lines here and here. You've got our tuck spot here. So when we fold this, and grab my Teflon tool, also from the Cool Cats. This will fold as well. I think they've even put like a millimeter or so there so that we can tuck it and then it's not going to butt up there. And then, if we just lift that a little bit here, what we've got is a self-sealing photo wallet. So let's just cut some more bits. Let's just cut a couple of these. So I've got another sheet from my photogenic kit. Got my low tack tape. And I'm just going to just so it goes through my machine a little bit easier. So I think I printed um, three sheets, three and four sheets of paper. So it didn't even use that much. And I'm not even going to use half the sheet of this one, I don't think. So there's one for the front 
of my um, flap. And we we'll just need one more. Let me try and straighten it out, use the pattern to make it straight. There we go. Let's just cut. Yes, yeah, so I could. If I was going to make another one, I've got enough room there to get another the two wraps. So I print off another two. I've got a whole other wallet. I send it through my machine. And well, it probably makes sense because the die is A4 length. You will need an A4 die cutting machine to cut it. So yeah, we've got our two um, flaps, and you can see here, I've already cut out my um, two photo wallets from one sheet, and the third one from the bottom, this one. So I'm now going to use... The remaining piece from here, we're going to cut this one. Now with this one, because I've got a directional text, I want it to go that way. So I need to make sure that my... Ooh, let's get that photograph. It's a pause button of life in. Can we get that in? That's not planned, but let's go for it. I'm just going to cut it down just so it goes through my machine a little bit easier. Oh, I've just cut through one of them. Pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> I'll cut that another one now. I was thinking why that paper was feeling so thick. Yes, the life has just got in there. So there we go. That's our front. So I'm just going to use my Distress Ink, uh, the black soot, just to edge. There. And I've already done this on the photo mats. So I'm just going to do it. onto this one as well. Normally I take a little bit more time at this if I wasn't filming. So let's do one more of these then, is it? Don't want to leave it half finished. Make sure I've taken off the others before I cut this time. Okay. So the final inking here. We've got three photo mats, two flaps, and one with that rainbow shape cut out. So let's bring in our photo wallet. So let's start just by printing off, uh, gluing on the flap. Piece. So you'll have a nice tidy border. There we go. So when we close it, that's going to tuck under there. So we're going to let's do it with the photo mats first, is it? Let's get them out of the way. So let's put this one in. So if you've got your photo mat in. It's easier because you can see where you don't want the glue. And 
me just check there's yep yeah, there's text on this so this is the inside now so we're going to place that with the text going across there now make sure if you have got a directional paper when you cut this second flap it needs to be the opposite to your front because you want your curves at the top for the front one you want them um, the curves on the bottom so we've got another photo mat so when you're doing your curves a little bit of glue around the edge nowhere near those curved slots what you can do is if you've got some um scrap paper let's see i've got some for when i cut out my die you can just cut squares out and you can tuck them underneath just to raise that so that you're not going to glue them too flat and you can't get your photo in so let's add that here and what's really nice is we've got room as well on the back for another photo slot so let's get some black pieces just to tuck in again if you had your photos to hand just use put your photos straight in and do this this is just another alternative way so when you're gluing again don't go near those black bits and some glue is there any text on this no which way should we put it that way That's the front, uh, the back and the inside done. Just this bit left now. So this bit you need to be a little bit careful with where you put the glue. So you are going to glue this down onto here, but you still want this to lift. Oh, it was with this one you need to be careful with that you don't glue that flap down. That was the bit I missed. So when you're doing this one, don't put glue over this middle, just put the glue over the rainbow, not inside the rainbow. Because if you glue the inside the rainbow, this will glue, be glued down and you haven't got your slot. This one, you can actually just glue all, you actually want to glue everything down. So I can see where that slot is. So I'm working around that and then working up the edges. Well, I think I was just um, luck when I did that one, that it didn't glue down. So let's take out these tabs. I would normally leave them in a bit longer until it's all dried, but I want to see how it looks for you all to see. So there we go. A little tuck spot there. So that our photo wallet closes. You open it up. You've got room for your photo here. And here and on the back so these then can be a standalone little wallet you can just give to the pe uh, person or as I said before if you've made some album pages which have got some pockets some more cool cats dies used here they can go inside or 
just into your normal standard pockets on your covers. So a fun little die set, a project that can be made on its own, a project that can enhance your albums. So a very versatile, fun little photo wallet. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a little thumbs up by clicking on that little thumbs up icon down below underneath this video. I'd really appreciate if you wrote a comment as well. I'd love to hear what you think of the dyes or the photogenic papers by Knitwit. If you have any questions about digital kits, just write it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe. And if you do have a go at this, make sure you share with me on um, Paper Crafting with Paul on Facebook. You can just type in Paper Crafting with Paul or you'll find a link underneath. I'll also add, add a link to the Cool Cats um, website so you can head over to grab this die set and also head over to their YouTube and they've got um, tutorials on how to use their dies as well. So yeah, visit their shop, their YouTube channel and I think they've even got a Facebook group too. So head over to Cool Cats on Facebook. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you all again soon.